Hi, I'm Pastor Chris from True Life Church. On March 3rd, 2013, we officially launched right here at Brick Memorial High School. Our vision has been to be an authentic, inclusive, healing, and sending community where the grace of Jesus Christ would deeply impact every area of our ordinary lives. Throughout these last 11 years, we have seen God do an extraordinary work. He has transformed lives. He has drawn people into a relationship with himself. So the, the need for a permanent space never felt urgent to us. However, we did look around. We, we did look to see what was out there, try to get a handle on what we could afford, what radius fit well with our community, but it wasn't urgent. Then COVID hit. We got kicked out of here and we had to move around, go from church to church, rent places, call firehouses, see who would take us, who would allow us to meet there. And that's when the need for a permanent space felt more urgent. So what we did was we kicked off a 45 day fundraising campaign. We prayed for 45 days. We asked people to fast one or two days during that time. And at the end of it, see what you can give. Well, at the end of that campaign, we had $1.7 million in the bank. God showed up. Now we had some capital to work with. Now we knew uh, what we could afford. Uh, now we knew what range to look at, but still very little options. Then during the summer of 2021, while we were still in the midst of COVID shutdowns, we ended up meeting here on Summers Farm. Art Summers is the owner of 27 acres of beautiful land, and we were so blessed to be able to gather here every Sunday from Memorial Day weekend until mid-September that summer, rain or shine, set up and tear down. We were just so grateful to have a place to gather. And then we got out of here for the fall, continued to wander around. And then finally, in 2022, during the spring months, Brick Memorial High School opened back up. So we came back to our old stomping grounds after being gone for two years. We were extremely grateful to be back here, but we continued to look for a property. We looked all over Brick, we looked all over the surrounding area, and still everything was either too expensive, too small, or too far from some contingent of our community. And that's when one of the real estate agents in our community, Jess Doughty, felt like the Lord put something on her heart. While we were meeting at Arts Farm over the summer during COVID, I, I started just getting a vision that that's where we were supposed to have our church home for True Life. And it continued even after we were done meeting there. It didn't really make sense. We were looking at several different properties. It, it just kept coming back that we were, we were supposed to be on the farm. So basically I reached out to Chris one day and said, what do you think? Can I ask him if um, we can make an offer on part of his property? He said, what the heck? And then I basically just put an email together and sent it to Art, asked him if he would consider um, sectioning off some part and selling it to us. And Art said yes, but not only does he want to sell us a piece of land, he wants to give us over 5.2 acres of wooded land right here that we can construct our church home on. That's the piece of land I'm standing on right now. Art doesn't want to just uh, use his resources for himself. He wants to give them away and leave behind a legacy that would expand the kingdom of God. Now, to construct the church home that we have in mind, even after we trimmed it down and trimmed it down and worked with our architect to make sure that we weren't building uh, something that was too big and wasting any money, making sure we had enough space for a sanctuary, a large coffee foyer area, a coffee bar, kids' classrooms, office space, eventually a gym, maybe a playground where people can gather during the week, but making it as small as possible so that we're not wasting any money, it's still estimated to cost $3.7 million. Now the good news is we still have 1.7 in the bank and our credit union Orchard Alliance has approved us for a loan of 1 million. You put that together, that's 2.7, that's taken care of but it leaves us with $1 million to raise. And that's where you come in. Here's our ask. Would you join us in what God is doing here? The first part of that is a prayer campaign. We're gonna be praying and fasting for 90 days, starting July 1st and going until September 28th. Then on Sunday, September 29th, we're gonna take an offering. 
So first and foremost, we're asking you to sign up to be part of this prayer and fasting campaign. Pick a day or two throughout these 90 days where you can commit to praying for this project. You skip breakfast, you skip lunch, and as you feel hungry, you say, God, we're hungry for you to do a miraculous work. We're, we're hungry for you to change lives uh, through the use of this land. And so we're hungry for you to provide the way for us to build. Maybe new avenues of giving to come in, unexpected money to flow in. So that's the first thing we're asking, pray. Second thing we're asking you to do is to do your part. What can you give? We would rather have 100% participation and not reach our goal of raising $1 million. Rather than have one person write a check for $2 million, but they're the only ones who participate. Jesus once fed a group of 5,000 people by using a little boy's lunch, his fish and loaves. Uh, it was such a, a measly amount, but he took it and he multiplied it. And we're asking all of you, what fish and loaves can you give? What are your fish and loaves? They may not seem like they're gonna have much of an impact, but if they're a stretch for you, if they're a sacrifice for you, would you consider putting it in the pot? So sign up for this prayer and fasting campaign, give what you can give, and let's see what God do what only God can do.